small time. Liberty City is in shock today as the police and emergency services deal with the aftermath of a devastating attack on a police convoy this morning. As yet, no details have been released about the prisoners being transferred in the convoy, and no group has claimed responsibility. The convoy left police headquarters early this morning for a routine transfer of felons to Liberty Penitentiary. The attack took place on the Callahan Bridge, leaving few witnesses and the bridge itself severely damaged. Some of the convicts are thought to have perished in the explosion that followed the initial attack. Revelations as to the professionalism of the attack struck police hours afterward, when identification of the missing felons were further hampered by an attack by computer hackers on police headquarters databases. With the Porter Tunnel Project falling behind schedule, this disaster leaves Portland isolated from the rest of the city. Come on! Senor Dickhead, it's no problem to kill you. You gonna be sorry. Aye, aye, get lost. I know a place on the edge of the red light district where we can lay low, but my hands are all messed up, so you better drive, brother. This is the place right here. Let's get off the street and find a danger clothes. I know this guy. He's connected. His name's Luigi. Me and him go back so I could probably get you some work. Come on, let's head over there. Let's go around the back and use the service door. Wait here, man, while I go in and talk to Luigi. Eight Ball's got some business upstairs. Or maybe you could do me a favor. One of my girls needs a ride, so grab a car and pick up Misty from the clinic, then bring her back here. Remember, no one messes with my girls. So keep your hands on the wheel. If you don't mess this up, maybe there'll be more work for you. Now get out of here.
Luigi said to, to give you this, so here, here, take it. There's a new high on the street. Goes by the name of Spank. Some wise guy's been introducing this trash to my girls down Portland Harbor. Go and introduce a bat to his face. Then take his car, respray it. I want compensation for this insult! Combo. What am I gonna do? Wait. Hey, 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 I gotta talk to you. All right, Mick. I'll talk to you later. How you doing, kid? The Don's son, Joey Leone. He wants some action from his regular girl, Misty. Go pick her up at Hepburn Heights, but watch yourself. That's Diablo turf. Then run her over to his garage in Trenton and make it quick. Joey ain't the kind you keep waiting. Remember, this is your foot in the door. So keep your eyes on the road and off Misty.
regular for a week, you know, huh? It's about time you got a driver we can trust. I'll be with you in a minute, Spark Plug. Hey, I'm Joey. Luigi said you were reliable, so come back later. There might be some work for you. All right? Some Diablo scumbag has been pimping his scuzzy bitches in my backyard. Go and take care of things for me. If you need a piece, go around back of Amner Nation opposite the subway. Policeman's ball is being held at the old school hall near the Callahan Bridge, and they'll be looking for some old school action. Now, I got girls all over town walking the street. Get them to the ball. They'll make a bundle. Get as many of them as you can before the cops drink away their green. There's someone who has, and they paid us in stacks of old roots and gold guineas. We'll be back after this. Do you live in the boring suburbs, but dream of living in a lonely castle on a windswept moor? Do you long to trade in your sweatsuit for a hundred pound suit of armor? Every weekend at Liberty 
City Park. It's the Medieval Millennium Fair. Our band of traveling minstrels, knights, and maidens oh so fair are ready to delight you with tales of the Black Death, witch burnings, and the joys of being a feudal serf. Forget about air conditioning and modern medicine. We've got all the leeches, spells, and potions you need at the Medieval Millennium Fair. Learn the art of cooking with turnips. Yum, yum. Buy genuine reproduction medieval artifacts, including maces, double-handed battle swords, and one size fits all chainmail. And this weekend only, pick up an authentic mechanical Lady of the Lake in Excalibur. It's perfect for your garden pond or swimming pool. And learn how to rid your condo of vermin using a penny whistle and a mysterious prancing German named Hans. The Medieval Millennium Fair, every weekend at Liberty City Park. In a moment, sweetheart. I got a little business to take care of. I got a little job for you, pal. The Ferrelli brothers have owed me money for too long and they need to be taught some respect. Lips Ferrelli is stuffing his fat face in the St. Mark's Bistro, so steal his car and take it to Eight Ball's bomb shop up in Harwood. You know Eight Ball, right? Once he's fitted it with a bomb, go park the car where you found it. Then sit back and watch the whole show. But hurry up, he won't be eating forever. Well, it sounds kind of like exploitation to me. Exploitation? Kill me! That is mine! He's my kid! How can I exploit something I own? Exploit me. You sound like a communist. Kids in Russia, they don't work. That's why everything's so messed up over there. You get the weight line for toilet paper. And there's made things that made out of milk cream. I'll tell you, working for a living is the American way. That, and the only thing more American is having folks work for you. That's a... Take a quick break. Rock station. Let's go over here and talk to somebody about their life. Hello, caller. You're on the air. Hi, Leslie. My name's Martha. I just love your show. I always listen to you when I'm getting my computer irrigated. I just wanted to say something about the internet. You know, the information super highway and the World Wide Web. Yeah, I know all about it. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? I mean, it's incredible. I know a lot of people say it's absolutely a load of crap, but how could it be so dumb? It's remarkable, I think. Think of all the things you can do. I mean, I go to a shop, and the name's Laszlo. I know, Leslie. I'm a regular listener. Well, I don't. I buy things online, and then I receive a different format, so I can hear you while I'm dying. It's incredible. I also like chess and cooking and reality. The internet is really good for my hobby. I think it's amazing. I used to go out a lot, but I don't have to go out ever again. It's incredible. I don't envy those kids with their stock options and their fancy cars. They earn them. The internet has saved my life. This is really going nowhere. Do you have anything interesting to say at all? Well, um, well, I want to see the Declaration of Independence. That's phenomenal. Probably one of the reasons there are so many single men in this city. All right, let's go over to here to line 79. Hello, you're on... Thank you. 